today we'll be presenting a thing on your feet, answering questions on the spot with clarity, brevity, and uh, impact. Okay. Uh, you can find us on our social media, Reverse mm -hmm. Academy, uh, our website, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, Telegram. So you can scan the uh, QR code and, uh, yeah, and uh, start to follow us. Okay, so uh, I guess most people have been in a situation where you are stuck for words and has a brain freeze and also worry about the impression that you create. So the ability to analyze, structure our talk quickly and then answer a question or present ideas clearly is critical skill in today's business world. So it's especially so in the new norms now where speed and quality of our response is critical or the window of opportunity for us to create a positive impact is getting slimmer. So today we are glad to have Shamini to actually uh, give us a talk on that. Yeah, over to you, Shamini. Thanks, yeah. Ping Wah. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our webinar on Think on Your Feet. I think we're going to have a bit of fun, even though I can't see you, and uh, but you can see me and you can hear, uh, hear me, and I can't do both, right? So we're going to use the chat uh, quite a bit, and I would like to interact with you in the chat. Um, and we'll start with the first question, yeah? So I'm going to put it in chat. And the first question is this, when people are not clear answering questions at work, the cost to me and my team is what? Dash. I'd like you to fill in the blank, all right? So for you, when people are not clear with their answers at work, all right? Um, we're not clear answering questions at work. What is the cost to you and your team? Can you put it down in chat, please? Let's have a look. What's the cost to you when people are, you know, you're confused about their answers, they, ah, yes. Uh, so Kengwa has said that it's miscommunication leading to conflict, yeah. So when people are not clear or they talk, uh, on and on and on about something or they go off in different directions they're not clear what's the cost to you and your team I'm waiting to see some answers other than miscommunication so feel free to put it on chat it would be a good way for me to know what is the pain that you've had Okay, people are still shy. People are warming up early in the morning. Okay, I have a second question for you. Maybe this one would be um, would make it easier for you to answer, all right? Uh, it's a scale of one to 10, yeah? And here's the question. The question is, on a scale of one to 10, how painful is it for you when someone is not clear when they answer a question, okay? One being there's no pain at all, and 10 being it is very, very super painful, right? So how painful is it to you when someone is not clear when they answer a question for you? Okay, so the pain is you. Eight, says Kengwa. Wow, that's pretty high. It's pretty painful. Um, anyone else? What's your number? Okay, all right. So you've got numbers five. Uh, five is about middle ground, seven. Uh, so Makara says five, so once in a while. Yeah, it's painful. Maybe Lin, uh, Lin Chun, you're saying it's about seven. Also pretty, pretty painful. Okay, so that's what we are here for today to look at how we can reduce this pain, right? Um, what are some tips and tricks that you can take along uh, with you in order to reduce this pain. So imagine if that's, that is how much painful it is to you, it can be equally painful uh, to the other person, or even more if we are not clear when we uh, reply or respond to a question. Okay, so this is my third question. And uh, I promise I'll stop for a while with the question, right? Now, many of you or all of you have gone for job interviews, right? Uh, anyone want to take a guess? What is the most common interview question that's asked? This one, Kengwa will know because he's in the business. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the most common interview question that's asked? 
Okay. You want to take it in in the chat or King Wan will give it uh, give the answer maybe. <laughs> Let's see if he, he has the answer. Uh, I guess my common uh, question that I ask actually normally is uh, uh, what do you think you can contribute to the organization? Ah, okay. Yeah. So that's a common question. Right? What do you want to change in the workplace? That's another question that's asked as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you know what research shows? The most common interview question is tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. And it is also the question that gets messed up, <laughs> the answer that gets messed up most of the time. So this is what we're going to ask you to do, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to ask you to share. I'm just going to give you some time. So please have a pen uh, and something to write uh, on, for, on your side, okay? Pen and paper. I'm going to give you uh, some time and I'm going to ask you in this time to write down how would you answer that, respond to that question. Tell me about yourself. You're bringing everyone up. Okay, great. Um, tell me about yourself. If I were to ask you that question, how would you answer it? So I'm going to ask you to do that on pen and paper, even though this is think on your feet and it's supposed to be verbal, you know, you talk about it verbally. Never mind. Let's do it on pen and paper. Write it in English, write it in uh, the Cambodian language, whichever way. Write it in long sentences, write it in short form, up to you. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to give you 90 seconds. And in 90 seconds, uh, we'll see how we go with uh, the answer. All right, so the question once again is, tell me about yourself. Your 90 seconds starts now. One, two, go. I think I have to uh, allow them to speak. So. Mm -hmm. Can yeah, mute themselves to speak as well. Okay, great. If you want to ask questions, okay, very good. Actually, when you talk about tell me about yourself, in what aspect? Actually, there, there is a lot of aspects. Right. Correct. Huh? Correct. Uh, yeah. uh, your uh, outlook. <laughs> Yeah. So it's yeah. Like, like, where do I go, right? It's, it's yeah. quite a broad. It's actually quite quite broad based, actually. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And it's usually the question that we don't prepare for because mm. we think we know how to answer it. Yes. Mm. But actually, the funny part about nowadays questions instead of asking what can you contribute to the organization, mm. in nowadays I'm always being asked what can the organization do for me for the career development. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you have 30 seconds more. So put on your thoughts. Yeah. Hmm. I guess yeah. you can write about it. Yeah. Yeah, could be. Hmm. Okay, and that's time's up. Okay, we're going to ask you to stop wherever you are. It doesn't mean that you have got it uh, perfect or, you know, um, it doesn't matter if you've not gotten it perfect. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, let's see, let's hopefully in the next uh, few minutes, hours, uh, less than an hour, I'll give you a couple of ways of thinking about it. Like Kingwa said, it's a very, mm. very broad question. Mm. Yet it's an opportunity for us to be memorable. Yeah, it's a job interview, right? Um, and uh, that's when you want to, that's one of the situations we want to be really, really memorable. So welcome again, everyone. My name is Shamini. Everyone calls me Sham. So please, you know, if you want to unmute and call or talk to me, please do that. Very, very happy to uh, interact with you. I am uh, a think accredited Think on Your Feet trainer. I'm also a master trainer for Think on Your Feet. What does master trainer mean? Master trainer is someone who trains other trainers to train in the program called Think on Your Feet. So what is Think on Your Feet about? Or where is it from? Think on Your Feet is a program that originated from Canada. And uh, it is based on this concept of thinking on your feet. Now, in English, that phrase.